Have you ever tried to send a file, attach a file to an email message, and it got rejected because the size was too huge, or it was biggie, you know, big and piggy, so it was biggie? Well, there it is. Let me right-click on it and go down to Properties to show you the size, 336 megabytes. That's pretty huge. So when I close out and I open up Outlook, double-click, and I click OK to go to my Outlook data profile. And I double-click in a blank area to create a new email message. And I come up here, click on the Insert tab, go to the Include group, and click on Attach File, and select the Biggie file. And it says, ah, the file you're attaching is bigger than the server allows. Try putting the file in a shared location and sending a link instead. Uh, no, I don't like that. We're going to go ahead and change that. And to do that, we're going to go into our registry key, which when we do, you want to make sure you do exactly as I'm doing, because if you do something else, you could turn to stone and so could your computer. So stay on the path. Now, this will take care of it from our end on the computer here, unless, of course, you're connected to an exchange server and your IT dude has put limits on what you can send, well, then that's beyond my scope here to be able to show you what you can do on your end, unless you want to talk to them. In any case, let's go ahead and close out and fix this. And let's close out of Outlook altogether. So when we go ahead and do the fix, it's already refreshed, and we can open up Outlook as opposed to leaving it open, making the change, then we'd have to close out of Outlook to open it back up to refresh it then. So to go ahead and enter in the registry key, zone as it were. Click on the start button and in the instant search type in reg edit r-e-g-e-d-i-t and it's right there reg edit. Go ahead and click on it and it says you sure you want to be going in here because uh, if you do something that we don't like we could be frozen. Well yes and then what you want to do is let's go ahead and maximize it and let's start up at the top. Let's scroll over here and scroll over and scroll up. I've already been in here tinkering around. And let's collapse it because it's probably going to look like this. Everything's going to look collapsed. And you have a total of five keys. You want to go ahead and expand the H key current user. When you expand that, go down to software right there and then expand software. And then scroll down to find Microsoft. It's listed alphabetically. So there's M for Microsoft. And then continue to go down after you expand that and find Office. And then after you expand Office, the current version that we're in is 2016. Well, there it is. 16. After you expand that, then go down and find and expand Outlook. Whew, it's a lot of expansions here. And then go ahead, after Outlook has been expanded, go down and find Preferences. Once you find Preferences, then come up here with it selected, of course. Click on Edit, and let's go down to New, and we want a new DWORD 32-bit value. Click on that, and down below, it's in Edit Mode. We can go ahead and type in the name of it, which is Maximum Attachment Size, all one word. Hit Enter. Now, if you're like, oh, I didn't spell that right, well, that's okay. Just go ahead and right-click on it and rename it. And then go ahead and make sure that you have it spelled, as I do here, Maximum Attachment Size, hit Enter, to accept that. And then go ahead and double-click on it to open it up. And the default value is zero. If it's zero, that means there's no limit for the attachments. If you want to place a limit upon it, like for example 30 megabytes, then you want to type in in kilobytes, which is 30720. So 30,720 kilobytes equals 30 megabytes. That's the limit. And since I don't want a limit, I'm going to go ahead and delete that, type in zero, and click OK. Now we're good to go. Let's go ahead and close out and open up Outlook. Double click. Click OK for my Outlook profile. Double click in a blank area to open up a new email message. Come up here, click on the Insert tab. Click on Attach File. Select Big E. Hey, the Big E Piggy has been attached. Fabulous. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.